Oh, when I finally found you, you were nothing. In fact, you were quite dead. <laughs> I knew I could remake you into something far better. You just needed some tweaks, a little science, and my ingenuity. <laughs> Look at you now. Good well, howdy there, partner. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that in this review. Guys, welcome to my review of Dust and Neon, the new twin stick roguelite shooter from Rogue Games and David Marquardt Studios. This game takes place in a post apocalyptic Wild West. But don't let the cowboy theme fool you. This game is so much more than that. First of all, the cell shaded aesthetic of the game is stunning. It gives the game a unique personality and style that is reminiscent of Borderlands, but with its own flair. This world is huge and varied, with four unique regions to explore, and the level design is well thought out and really enjoyable. The overall graphics, while not the best, it is very, very pleasant to look at. It will not hurt your eyes one bit taking a look at this game. And as I said, the world is huge and varied, with a lot of side exploration that will more often and the not reward you in one way or another. The gameplay, however, this is where Dust and Neon really shines. The twin stick mechanics are buttery smooth, allowing for precise and fast paced gunplay, and the reload system is particularly satisfying with a visceral feel as you pop each bullet into the chamber manually. And speaking of guns, there is almost 2000 unique weapons to choose from, so you'll never get bored of the arsenal at your disposal. 2k unique weapons. I mean, honestly, that is pretty neat. And strangely enough, what had me the most excited each time I picked up a new weapon was to see how the reload animation was. That, that was so exciting to see, ooh, how will this weapon reload? Ooh, what's the animation for this? Ooh, how will this look? But I have to add that the guns, they feel really nice and they have perfect audio mixed into them. It feels really good popping off a shot, but that wasn't the most exciting thing about picking up a new weapon. <laughs> but that's not all, friends. Dust and Neon also has a heavy focus on loot and progression. As you progress through the game, you'll unlock new abilities and skills that fundamentally change the way the game plays. The tonic system is particularly interesting as it allows you to temporarily change or enhance your gunslinger's abilities on the battlefield. And with all of these weapons and loot, it might sound a bit overwhelming. Thankfully though, the game has a built-in score system for each weapon, making it super easy to see which one packs the most punch. But if you don't want to go that route and you want to pick a gun that feels the best to you, there is more detailed stats to compare the guns to as well, like fire rate and all of that good stuff. Stop the presses. Guys, would you like a free copy of this game? Well, I got you. Hit the subscribe, leave a comment down below, and on February the 20th, I will pick one of you lucky fellas or girls to receive a free Steam code of this game. Disclaimer, you have to have Discord to be able to receive the code. Now, let's talk a bit about the challenge. Dust the Neon is not an easy game, but that is what makes it so rewarding. The permadeath system may seem daunting, but fear not. The mad scientist is always ready with your clones at bay to continue where the previous gunslinger left off. And with the dynamic power-up boost system, you can turn your gunslinger into an unstoppable force. And as I have stated previous in my other videos, videos, hard games is not really my jam. I clearly don't have the patience for it. But this one was no problem at all for me. It is not so slight difficulty this game, but it does offer a challenge now and then, and I will touch a little bit more on that later. And finally we arrive at the boss fights. Wow, I just gotta say wow. The villains in this game are truly sinister, and the boss fights are epic. They provide a real challenge compared to the regular enemies in the game, and you'll need to use all of your skills and abilities to defeat them. But trust me, the feeling of satisfaction when you finally take them down, it is so worth it. So is there anything to wish from this game? Well, yes there actually is. For a game that charges over $25, I would have liked to see customization for the playable character. And the hub world, while decent in size, it is very boring. There is really nothing to explore or see apart from the key things in it. And lastly, the game over Overall, would have felt a little better with more variety in the environments. Game is big, but there is a lot of the same in the well-designed levels. More environmental assets would not hurt at all. So in conclusion, Dust the Neon is a seriously robust and challenging twin-stick roguelite shooter that I highly recommend. With its stunning cell shade aesthetic, buttery smooth gameplay, heavy focus on loot and progression, and epic boss fights, this game almost has it all. So don't be put off by the top-down perspective. Dust the Neon 
Neon is much more than that. For more awesomeness, friends, don't miss these videos.